we're going to get into uh, what I believe um, is one of the most missed um, things as far as health. That is the silent one of the, the the top silent assassins to the inner magnificence to God within the body. This is homeostatic balance within the body, causing more pathology and disease to be allowed to run rampant. Um, and that in lies this comprehensive stool test. It's a very, very complex inner blueprint to your immune system. Like if you're a quarterback, and you have a front offensive line, the stool test is that front immune, de uh, immune defense for your whole life. The balance of the stool test is what will dictate whether you're susceptible to cancer, heart disease, diabetes, neurodegenerative disease, First part, um, you name it, lupus, all autoimmune diseases have a root cause reverse engineered to your stool test. Now, there is massive disease that's happening, older persons' diseases in younger people. We have more pediatric cancer in this generation than ever in the 100 year history uh, of America. We have more autism ever at this time period than we did in the 80s or than when we had in the 50s and the 60s. Now today, we have more autoimmune disease ever in recorded history. We have more Uh, anxiety, depression. We have kids killing themselves because we're playing with symptoms. We have kids committing suicide because they don't understand that the stool test shows you whether you can transmit your serotonin and your dopamine, your neurotransmitters from your gut wall up to the brain from the gut brain connection we think these brain imbalances are just because the brain is malfunctioning we haven't asked the deeper questions what controls the brain what agitates the brain what causes the brain to neurodegenerate what causes the brain to not be able to focus what causes the brain to be all over the place so attention We're, we don't ask questions anymore. That's why there's so much pathology and disease to manage. Your stool test is one of the most important things. And I'm going to go through some case histories. Um, and I'm going to go through the details of your, of your stool test and what it even means. This seminar is called It's All About the Poop. And if you knew what these holistic docs know around the United States, and around the world, you would be like running to test your stool test every single year to make sure that thing is perfect because that silent stress that goes undetected, under the radar, just like an iceberg, that balance gets further and further and further out of its normal ranges. And these infections, that are antibiotic resistant that you can read in the stool test. Antibiotic resistive infections from all the carpet bombing that we've done over the decades through the 70s, the 80s and 90s, where we handed antibiotics out like candy and not understood the effects of the internal demise, the internal um, degradation, the internal vulnerabilities 
that were left in these humans today. Like, remember, your stool test, which I'm going to show you and explain more of, is if you're the quarterback, it is your front line, your first line of defense. And if that is penetrated through infections, through yeast infections, bacterial infections, if that is penetrated through parasitic infections, if you have mal nutrient malabsorption problems and you're spending a lot of money on expensive supplements and organic food and you, because you have such a damaged stomach, small intestine, which is your nutrient converter, you cannot even get your vital nutrients to a stressed out brain, a stressed out heart, a stressed out adrenal stress hormone system. You can't even repair and regenerate because you don't have proper micronutrient conversion. Silently, this goes under the radar for years. And you're going through your daily stresses of being a mom, being, being a dad, and you have financial stress, you have childhood stress, and the iceberg gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually, it, the, t the ship hits the iceberg, and we wonder why these guys die from catastrophic strokes and leave the earth early and, and have chronic heart disease, and, and nobody really understands why that's going on. Your stool is one of the secrets to prevent pathology and disease as you reverse engineer as the organs starve is there any more nope. people to let in nope, just as the organs starve for proper micronutrient conversion and you go through your weeks and your years thinking that your your organs are okay and they slowly stress out until we're wondering why we feel older earlier. Why are our community members having all sorts of autoimmune diseases? Because they don't understand the immune system, first of all. So this, this is one of the most valuable things. If you want to protect your health, you do comprehensive stool testing, and you don't just think, it's just about constipation and diarrhea. Although, those are the things in the case history, like I'm gonna go through some of these case histories of women that have cancer twice, women that have joint hip replacements, women that have been on disability because nobody understood that that constipation when they were a teenager or they were 26 or 28 years old that that sluggish GI or that irritable bowel syndrome of blowing out with diarrhea, blowing out infections, H. pylori, C. difficile, all sorts of bacterial antibiotic resistive infections because your good bacteria got carpet bombed by many rounds of antibiotics and that left you a wounded duck to face all this emotional, physical, financial stress. And that fight or flight stress goes and does further damage to your immune system, which puts your brain getting less serotonin, less dopamine, less neurotransmitters being converted from the gut to the brain. And then your brain is degenerating or it's being destroyed by systemic inflammation, silently. No immune systems, that means all the viruses can attack and have their way and be very active. This is a time of COVID. On the stool test, I have a stool test. There is two primary bacterias that if they're depleted and they're not at the proper amount, your chance of getting COVID is exponential. 
That's just one of the cool things. All right, so let's, and I'm going to do open this. There you go. Okay, super cool. So tonight I want you to, I want you to be informed because right now it doesn't matter if you have a teenager and they're struggling with attention deficit disorder or, or they're struggling with hyperactivity disorder or anxiety or depression because their gut is so mis misbalanced. Or if you have like most of my 35 year olds that are in here tonight, like and, and in the practice, and they're wondering why they can't sleep, why their brain is being so agitated from systemic inflammation in the gut wall from multiple infections that they, they don't have a, a proper, they have insomnia, they can't go to bed on time. They can't hit their normal sleep cycle. They can't go back to sleep after they get up in the middle of the evening to urinate because their brain is being bombarded by tons of systemic inflammation from primary infections that are at high levels, out of their normal balance, at high risk levels. And that is one of the things that eats the cartilage in the spine, it eats the hip, it causes hip replacements, it causes knee replacements, it causes arteries to calcify with heart disease because nobody ever checked the stool test properly which leads them to an earlier cardiovascular risk because they don't understand where the primary inflammation generators are coming from. This is like, this is a future of root cause, the stool test, and there's other tests, but this is one of the most profound things that has been missed. For instance, on this lady who came in, she came in and she presented with insomnia, depression, <laughs> irritable bowel syndrome since 28 years old. Sometimes it would go constipation and then back to diarrhea. No energy whatsoever, hyper sweating, having hot flashes, migraines, headaches, inflammational issues, arthritis, carpal tunnel, um, 1991 cancer, breast cancer, had chemotherapy and radiation. In 2004, the breast cancer came back. They removed both of her breasts. This is a very real issue right now in this family because they don't follow and understand what Juanita does. 1991, breast cancer shows up. There's an internal bodily environment. This is the iceberg. Let me just slow down for a minute. The iceberg that is silent, that takes the Titanic down. The internal bodily environment that is missed then you know we typically we bombard it with radiation and chemotherapy which toxifies the individual even more the fishbowl fills up with more toxicity and this isn't a discussion about chemotherapy and radiation i'm just telling you why the cancer returns if you don't get to the root cause and you tell that woman and she's and she has an internal bodily state and no immune system or a suppressed immune system and she goes on to 2004 and breast cancer comes back with a vengeance again and the only solution is to cut off both breasts just like they did recently with Juanita's mom the girl at the holistic health coach at the front desk at the office It's because we don't understand the immune system that keeps cancer in homeostatic balance. 
How do we protect ourselves? We do root cause testing to quantify, are there massive systemic infections that cause massive inflammation, which is the root cause to all pathology and disease today? So this lady pull, comes into my office because she sleeps for three years. And I'm a chiropractor. I'm a holistic doc, a natural health doc. She's sleeping in her golden years all day on 8-12-2016. She comes into the office sleeping all day for three years, no energy to do anything. And this is her quote. If this is the way it's going to be, I don't want to live another 10 years from now because it's terrible now. Okay. Why is she on depressive meds? Why does she have gastrointestinal problems? Why, why does she have hormonal problems? So those, those, that's three specialties right there. God, GI, hormonal, gastrointestinal, okay? Then we get, there, there's cancer issues. So this is the way this vehicle pulls up. We do food testing, we do stool testing, we do hormonal testing, we do mold testing, and we start finding out what was the internal bodily environment that allowed God, the power of God inside the human body to come out of balance. What was taking all of her energy? These are the real questions. What was taking all of her energy? So she's sleeping all day for three years when her husband brings her in and she tries the holistic approach because they've been to Mayo, they've been to Duke, they've been to Emory University. And it's one size, one approach fits all with another drug or another procedure. How is that doing right now? for the human team. How is that doing? So I did her stool test and I found out that she was fighting like eight different infections, bacterial infections that have laughed at antibiotics over the years and mutated and built stronger resistance. Those infections put her body in a fight or flight state. So her, she was utilizing all her ATP to fight the silent assassin, which are the infections. All her energy is going to survival, fight or flight survival. I think it's worthy to test every single individual that we know to find out why they're tired why they have no energy, why they have no focus, why their hormones are all over the place. You have to look at primary cause testing. I'm just taking one test tonight and I'm showing how we brought this lady out of bed. <laughs> she painted the whole interior of her house. She does out yard work at, at, at the lake house and her house. She painted the whole interior of the house. And her husband says, whatever you're doing, keep it up. This is great. <laughs> so I'm going to go in. But the thing that they missed, see, had someone been listening with a trained eye, with scientific testing, you would have caught the irritable bowel syndrome at 28 years of age. The internal disruption that blows primary systemic inflammation that eats the joints out, that causes the orthopedic issues, causes the achiness and stiffness, that causes the depression and the neuroendocrine, the hormone disruption, that causes the GI problems, the gut-brain connection. Have we caught that? Had we taking care of her as a quarterback and shown on scientific testing that the first line of the offense, her first line of defense was severely compromised. Now I want to show you 
before I go into this last Mayo Clinic case, um, I want to explain to you why it is all about the poop. It is all about the poop because it's a root cause test. And if you can get your stool test right, you can reverse diabetes, like grade school, like kindergarten. Because you, it, in the where the autoimmune disease comes from, the autoimmune disease is responsible for MS, lupus. It's responsible for, um, you know, uh, the diabetes. It's responsible for all sorts of hormone suppression. Thank you very much. Did you just turn that on? No, I think you Thank you. That's awesome. God, God moved it for you. So, yeah. So you're only as healthy as your stool. Here's your stomach. If you're on proton pump inhibitors, proton pump inhibitors to suppress the acid in the stomach, Guess what is done to you on those days or that year? You suppress the betaine hydrochloric acid in the stomach, and that's one of your primary lines of defense. Sterilization. When outer infections come in, in order to protect the inner part of your immune system, you have to have enough betaine hydrochloric acid in your stomach, or you will have an endless life you will never get off the proton pump inhibitors not to mention the more you suppress the acid the worse the reflux gets and then you have esophageal you the sphincter opens up so you have esophageal reflux and then you have to sleep on an inclined bed how many people are on proton pump inhibitors and then as the food is supposed to be broken down and sterilized from the outside world coming into your inner body, you, that is one of your main lines of defense and protection. As it comes down into the small intestine, this is where micronutrient absorption happens or not. Had a, had a lady come in today and she's been taking tons of vitamin D but her blood levels of her vitamin D were tanked. They were in the basement. So she's taken the proper amount of vitamin D, but it's not getting broken down and converted and delivered to the organs because there's micronutrient absorption problems. That's all silent, ladies and gentlemen. Just imagine going years having... A micronutrient absorption problem. This is where your food gets broken down before it moves into the large intestine and takes its final lap out as stool. So in our children who have attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity disorder, but um, anxiety, depression, and they're withdrawing from the world, and they are silently... absorption issues how vital is that to the early catch to the destruction of the human suffering that some of you are suffering now how vital is that to catch in a developing organs developing or not organs stressing or not a brain stressing or not why do we see so much neurodegeneration now why is there so many buildings being filled with, like with my grandmother who had Parkinson's? This is what led me to go on a, on a search, on a quest to find better health. This is where many of your brain neurotransmitters are made or not. So if you don't have proper serotonin and dopamine made here, you kiss your brains goodbye you can kiss your normal youthful good feeling i just feel good today and i don't know why that's all because of neurotransmitters getting from the gut to the brain or not okay so all this stuff can be prevented like this pathology and disease this is just one worthwhile test that is an interceptor that never gets done or never gets read other than do you have blood in your stool and then it's discarded 
I'm going to show you how complex this test is with the right stool test. There's many stool tests. I feel, I feel the GI map is the best stool test in the world because I, we've reversed so much pathology and disease. So as we go through, and remember, this is where autoimmune disease starts. This is where diabetes starts. This is where all the inflammatory start as this gets out of balance, as the liver gets out of balance, which is right here, as the stomach gets out of balance. This is your gut. This is most of your immune system. So on the first page, I'm going to just take you through. This is the world. There is major bacterial pathogens like hospital-induced infections, like C. difficile. All the times you're in the hospital, you want to check and see if that bug that you picked up in the hospital is not still traveling with you, causing extensive tissue damage to the organs. So E. coli, C. difficile, all sorts of E. coli, salmonella, um, all sorts of parasites, viruses. That's page one. Let's check. Page H. pylori. Now, there's many different strains of H. pylori. It's one of the worst infections in the world, and it's one of the hardest things to go through for two months. The first month is very tough when you're removing H. pylori, if you have H. pylori on your stool test. These, all these right here, are the cancer causing from a bacterial infection these are the cancer, the cancer uh, ones that better be negative, or you have silent cancer developing within your body. Wouldn't this be good to know, like in, in our 20s and our 30s, or even in a younger immune system? Now here, this whole second page here is how much fight you have. These levels are not in ranges, then you don't have an immune system. Emotional stress, toxicity, GMOs, glyphosate, plastics destroy your, 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 your innate intelligence from God, your God given immune system. These better be strong and they better be in the normal ranges because you can just, you're, you're just, it's a matter of time before cancer, a certain pathology, a certain inflammational causing pathology takes over your body. That's why medicine has so much to manage because humans are not being tested properly. That's page two. Page three. Page three of the best. These are the opportunistic, dysbiotic things like Streptococcus, Staph, Pseudomonas, Morganella, and Enterococcus, Bacillus. And for all you gassy ones, <laughs> all you guys who have abdominal gas pressure, you burp a lot, you, you, you expel gas a lot, methanobacterial, when this gets high, that will cause a lot of gas, a lot of burping, and it's good to know that that thing is in balance and it's not in a full-blown infection because the chances of colon cancer, which we're going to get to on the next page, because this test tells you before colon cancer hits, better than a GI scope because... Biome. You're looking for inflammation. You're now looking for a tumor that's already there. You're now looking for an ulceration that is already there. You are looking before the pathology and disease hits. That's why this test. It is all about the poop. This is a whole list. This person here has one, two, three, four, five infections blowing tons of systemic inflammation. 
systemic inflammation going to the brains, going to the heart, going to the arteries, irritating the artery lumen walls, th disrupting all the hormones, setting the person up for colon cancer, setting the person up for all sorts of potential autoimmune triggers. Every single one of these bacteria from here to here is your whole keys to the kingdom for lupus, MS, and why there hasn't been progress in those fields. The next one is yeast. All the different forms of yeast in candida. Now we get to cytomegalovirus. You want to talk about something that will destroy your brain silently? Don't have an immune system and have the viruses come out that are dormant and have those bad boys come out and torture the neighborhood. The whole internal part of the human physiology in the brain and have viruses attack the brain and you don't know it. Viruses are one of the things when they have no answers at Duke, when they have no answers at, 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 at Mayo, at Cleveland, they miss the viruses. And I'm not talking, I'm talking about the cytomegalovirus. I'm talking about the Epstein-Barr virus that is thought to be no big deal that completely destroys and, and, and kills organ system function silently for 30 to 30 years. That's what this test shows. Page three. Here's page four. Now we get into parasites. Now we get into worms. Are there people that need to come on? Yep. Oh, Jesse. Yep, sorry. I'm just going to let a person in. Juanita's going to help me out. So the next section is parasites. Blastocyst hominis. If you've ever traveled outside the country, if you've ever went to Mexico, if you've ever... There's, there's all sorts of worms and parasites, and they outcompete <laughs> glucose conversion. They eat and outcompete the brain for glucose, the primary fuel that keeps brain tissue healthy. Wouldn't that be important to know if there's any parasites or any worms that are eating your micronutrients that are starving your organs and causing a fight or flight stress that causes your adrenals to fry and to be suppressed, which interferes with your sleep, which interferes with your morning energy getting up, which interferes with your 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. energy. Those worms out compete and eat all the micronutrients and grow larger and larger and your organs starve. And these are the internal fight or flight stresses that limbic lock the brain in the emotional center of the brain early on. Not just concussions, not just falls in gymnastics and off the horses and in sports and out of the trees as a kid in the auto accidents when you whiplash, not just those cause the de neuro de demise, the dementia, the Parkinson's, the Alzheimer's. Micronutrient, assassins that are not detected. That's why I do my stool test every single year to make sure this is right above all else. Because I know this is my front line of defense that guards my brain, it guards my organs, it guards my inflammation levels. Now we're going to go into the intestinal health. Now this whole part right here, this is about how much acid is in the stomach, how well your pancreas is working, producing digestive enzymes, how well your gallbladder works. And the most, the number one surgery in the world is gallbladder removal. <laughs> well, if we would have looked at a stool test, there would be no reason to remove all the gallbladders. So, 
This looks at betaine hydrochloric acid, your first line of defense. And if you've been on proton pump inhibitors, if somebody's, you've taken Rolades and Tums, you set yourself up for internal destruction because you've suppressed the first line of defense, which is the betaine hydrochloric acid. Against all these bacteria, all sorts of different bugs, you can't sterilize yourself if there's a bunch of, <laughs> oh gosh, what are some of the, the proton pump inhibitors besides the Rolades and the Tums? I can't even think I have my brain dead. The next marker is how close you are coming to colon cancer, how far away you are from colon cancer. This is called betaine or beta glucuronidase enzyme. Way better than a lower GI scope. Way better. This is way better than an upper or lower scope. Those things show you when the problem is already there. That doesn't make much sense to me when there's severe inflammation and ulceration or pathology and disease in, the, in this whole GI tract when it could have been picked up decades before it ever hit. But it's fine for a huge disemergency management business. Medical industry is called an industry for a reason. So, I, you know, I have nothing against medicine, by the way. Yep. So. I like medicine when I crash my car, when I knock myself out, when I broke my neck on my motocross bike, when I broke my ribs. I love medicine for emergency crisis care. I love medicine for the, the wonderment of surgeries. But for wellness, step aside, man, because you are manufacturing so much pathology and disease, I'm sick and tired of it. And there is smarter scientific testing. So when I go over your beta glucuronidase marker and you're above 2,086, that means your chances of colon cancer are in high risk. This is before it hits. You can see the bogeys coming in on the radar screen before they hit. The pathology and disease you can measure and quantify on a preventative level if you're doing preventive testing and you're rebuilding your immune system. You can prevent pathology and disease. The technology has been here for years. Now, a cold blood. You definitely don't want the inside of this lining where you have blood in the stool and your stools are dark. This will quantify on a numerical value, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, how severe the bleeding is inside the GI. What, a, what an amazing page four. We're looking at our stomach to recap. We're looking at our pancreas. We're looking and seeing if the GI is, if there's cancer coming in on the radar screen, we're looking at how internally stressed the power of God is being suppressed with inside the human body to set it up for multiple pathology and there's brain function, sleep problems, autoimmune disorders, cardiovascular disease from primary systemic inflammation being blown in all the arterial walls. Then we get to see how good your immune system response is. Is it being squashed by the five infections that we found on page three? Is it being pressed where you don't even have a normal muscle, like an immune system response to foreign invaders? That's what this marker is right here. Secretory IgA shows how much your immune system is being trounced suppressed or in hyper hyper alert mode where the sirens and all the the sirens are screaming and nobody's paying attention 
Because this is all silent as the iceberg gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And you are limbic locked in fight or flight straight, fight or flight state from early assault. And your brain gets locked in fight or flight, limbic emotional state. We wonder why our relationships are de deteriorating. We wonder why we snap at our spouse. We wonder why there's not intimate connection or we're relating with our family members, our, our, our primary close people, why we ki the kids are just destroying. You know, like we don't have the patience to deal with the power of, of the kids. It's because you're under silent stress, I beg. Like uh, this is page four. And then here's how much gluten you're eating. <laughs> so this one really blows the lid off, you guys, because I get to see how much gluten damage is happening from all the cinnamon buns. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, <laughs> so that's a good marker to know about. So we see if you're eating too much gluten. Now this is a pathological inflammation that causes pathology and disease. Not to mention, this is the colon cancer gradation marker to see how far away is that thing coming in my internal situation. And last but not least, we get to see how big your leaky gut is. And your leaky gut is this part here where the small intestines in their micronutrient absorption ability or not, and what level of destruction to your first line of defense, how big the leaky gut is, and that these individual cells are now not converting nutrients. They are letting the foods that you're eating slide right through directly into your bloodstream. And that's a heck of an awareness. That's an incredible awareness. So how big is this person's leaky gut? Their zymulin was 163. 107 is high risk. It's 23. This particular gentleman has no degeneration. Like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, uh, uh, cognitive decline. And we're going to show him how to heal himself. Because when you get the gut right, the brain gets right. And we're going to watch his response times, his sleep time. We're going to watch his anger go down. We're going to watch his agitation. We're going to watch his relationship ability come back, his connection. We're going to watch his brain come back because of this stool test and mold testing and food testing. So that's page four. Trust me, this lady right here, brain issues of insomnia, depression, all traced back to the gut brain connection. Her agitated diarrhea bowel problems her whole life since 28, which suppressed her immune system was destroyed until she popped from cancer because the power of God could not keep her immune system, could not keep the cancer in check. We all have cancer cells. It's whether you have an immune system to keep them in homeostatic balance. We have solutions <laughs> for so much human suffering. And that's why the breast cancer came back. Because nobody ever looked inside of her internal world. Her iceberg got bigger and bigger and bigger. Now I'm going to show you a Mayo Clinic case. 51 years old. I'm 54. Karen comes in. She's 51 years old. This is what we took on her. I took 30 minutes and I listened to every single thing that came out of that woman's mouth. Because I wanted to solve the problem. Because she was a five times failed Mayo Clinic case. And I said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm ready. I'm ready to pull her off disability. I'm ready, dude. 
Give me the ball. I'm going to run. Give me the ball. Five times failed Mayo Clinic case. Complete disability. Can't sleep anymore. Wakes up every two hours. You think that brain's agitated by something? Oh, Dr. Legree, why don't you just listen? And then you can solve the pieces to the puzzle. You can reverse engineer and find out why this lady has broke down multi system organ fear breakdown at 51. These are the cases that have been rolling in here from 2016 onward. Okay, let's figure this out together. Can't sleep anymore, wakes up every two hours, has one ovary, a small piece of the other ovary. So they had the ovary got so pathogenic, they had to cut out the pieces of the ovary because they thought there was cut, like questionable manifestations on those ovaries. What was causing that organ to be aggravated? Well, that, that's what's going on in my head. What's causing that, that organ to need to be cut, a piece cut out of it? No gallbladder. Your gallbladder is your immune system. It releases bile to break down your health fats to protect. 60% of your brain is made of cholesterol. 60% of your brain is made of cholesterol. You think God's stupid? Fats transmit electrical signals. They are excellent conductors. A healthy brain needs good fats. If you have your gallbladder out, you can't convert healthy brains to repair and regenerate the brains of America. No tonsils, no appendix. Systemic lupus inhibitor, blood clotting disorder, on a stag drug. This is when I started. Diarrhea all day, every day since she was young. It's an inflammatory disorder of the muscles, of the fascia, of the nerves. We don't know what the cause of it is. We absolutely do know what the cause of it is. The cause is inflammation. The cause is toxicity. The cause is not finding out what is causing the cellular forest fire to burn down the California mountainside internally as that iceberg gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because nobody wants to do this. They want to run out of the room in seven to eight minutes. This is why it could solve the case. Lungs, another organ, multi-system organ failure. Constant cough all the time, can't take a deep breath, wheezing like history of asthma, heart, having chest pains, arrhythmia. Man, if I had an internal bodily state that nobody found for like two decades, I would start falling apart multi-system organ failure also. Inflammation, fibromyalgia, lungs, heart. Four replacements of her hips and knees at 51 years old. She had joint problems. They will never figure this out. They will never figure this out. Glaucoma, six years ago. Diabetes, six years ago. Kidney, biopsy of the kidney, stage one and two. She was told she had a Hashimoto's disease. What's that? Autoimmune disease. Reverse autoimmune disease, it's right in your GI, right here. This is what causes the autoimmune disease, the body to start. Neck pain, bulging discs, very difficult to lose weight. You know what if this lady, didn't have, if God wasn't so amazing in the magnificence of the bodily design, it brings the fluid on because that's God's natural fire extinguisher. 
to keep the other organs from dying faster and your brain from dying faster. That's God's fire extinguisher. This is to keep a buffer until somebody else comes along who can figure out how to help the human being because we need each other. <laughs> <laughs> two biopsies of the bladder oh another organ system that's stressed the, the iceberg is she is disabled um, she feels like she's 90 years old she's 51 she gets exhausted easily she can't lose weight you never want to lose weight when you're sick because if you lose weight when you're sick and you get rid of that natural God-given fire extinguisher that's causing that Buddha belly and that muffin top, that's saving your life from more accelerated degeneration faster, organs dying faster because nobody's coming in on the scene to make the body safe. That fluid goes away. The organs stop wrapping fat all over the place in the intra-abdominal fat because there's so much toxicity in this main primary system that is not being doctored properly that the toxins response the toxins wrapped around the organs all over our body all over america is to suck the toxins out of the core of the organs or the core of the small intestines or large intestines or around the stomach or around fatty liver to save the liver so it can function so the toxins get gravitate from the liver into the fat and that's why there's so much fatty liver disease to save the liver because that's gonna that has to do with a well a lot of your hormones are made also in the gut and in the liver <laughs> if you have an energy loss and your energy isn't what it used to be guess what the energy is neither created or destroyed energy or else energy is being taken because your body is in a huge fight or flight state and it is in such fight or flight we get so limbic locked we lose our heart connection that we just get so into our brain and our emotional state, limbic locked emotionally from all the other fight or flight state from here down. And then we can't unlock our brains from the limbic lock because there's an internal bodily environment that brings the pathology and disease. Diarrhea all day, every day, constant from a young age. Eye tissue, any kind of glaucoma, any kind of eye. Sensitive tissue, tissue in the human body, which is attacked first. So that, <laughs> that eye tissue is not as durable as a lot of other stuff. Anyway. Organ, multi-system organ failure. And what she can do now because of this approach, the beyond limits approach, she can run around the town with her teenager and her son that went to Clemson and shop and do all the things and walk the speed as they walk because she's no longer disabled and she came out of the house. And she can work full time. And that scared the crap out of her. And that's why it is all about the poop. <laughs> it really is all about the poop. We did a miracle for God because we're ready. We want the ball. The immune system is where it's at as far as getting to the root cause for all these labels. And that's why it is all about the poop. That's one of the best tests in the world for root cause primary. Find out what's wrong with the human body. 
that will intercept more autoimmune disease, cardiovascular disease, cancers, hormonal disruption, diabetes, neurodegeneration, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, MS, lupus. The list goes on and on because if you don't have a good immune system, uh, which is a good stool test, you can't even benefit. You can't even get the fruits to the organs that are stressed. One of the main reasons why autism and ADD and ADHD happens is because this is never healed and looked at. Anxiety, depression, panic attacks. You have problems with your sleep, problems with your energy, problems with your focus. Your stool test has a lot of the hidden answers to all these problems. And this is the gut-brain connection. And this is exactly how we're going to document with these neurodegenerative cases that I have in this office right now where the spouse will tell you it's a living heck at home. And you're going to watch these human beings come back from cognitive decline because of the understanding of the gut-brain connection. Dopamine, serotonin, micronutrients. Man, you might as well start looking in the right places so you get off the merry-go-round and stop wasting precious time. <clears throat> it all goes back, man, to governors, God's power that made the body, the power that heals the body, the power that maintains the body is finding the silent ass assassins that are being missed by standard medical practice. If they get trained better, they'll be just like this. If they get trained better, there's going to be less pathology and disease. They might lose their license, but <laughs> there's going to be less pathology and disease. Because it's all about the internal bodily environment. And that is the iceberg that I go after in every single one of you. I hope you guys will share this message with all the people that were not on this. But above all else, I am going to raise the intelligence of this tribe. And I'm going to lead this tribe to better health. And I'm going to show you how to heal yourselves in the name of God, man. Because we can do much better. As a, as a human team with good scientific testing and research, but doing root cause testing because I'm not wasting anybody's time because they've already been everywhere else. And this is the future of real doctoring. <laughs> and that's all I got to say, man. That's all I got to say for the night. Yep, Juanita's going to come on with a couple of... Uh, Questions or a couple of, a couple of announcements. Thank you for being on tonight. I hope this. Believe me, when we set up um, this uh, private Facebook page group, we're going to be doing little tips that make a big difference, and we're going to be focusing on those disciplines because that's removal uh, to the power of God, which is a Ferrari. This does not have to happen, what we're seeing right now. We're going to remove interference to the power of God, and I'm just going to coach you and show you how to heal yourselves. It's as simple as that. That's all we do. We don't treat. We don't cure anything. All I do is work with the power of God inside the human body, and I go after all the assassins that are like tentacles that are dragging you guys down and killing you and killing you and, and faster. Yeah, so thank you so much for coming today, guys. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm not quite as tall as Doc here, so I've got to stand up on my tiptoes here. <laughs> so, yeah, as Doc alluded to, I, I, I've experienced this personally in my own life when my life became a train wreck because of all my health issues, and I had no idea how to get to deal with it all because I had been trained to do, you know, the quick fix thing, trying to find a supplement or trying to find a medication just to take care of my problems. And I had, like, 
I would have had to have five specialists by the time I came to Doc. I'm serious. If you ever want to hear my individual story, just let me know, and I'll I'll be happy to tell you. It it was it, I was a train wreck, but what happened was Doc showed me in just very simple steps to undo all that in my body. I felt like a totally different person. I had the breast lump. I had the diabetes. I had the heart disease. I had um, what else? Oh, my hormone issues, of course. My, migraines were a way of life. My skin was pure white. There was no freckles in it. If you see me close up, you see I'm, I'm covered with freckles now. Um, all of that, my, at 42 years of age, I had chronic back pain. I just couldn't get rid of it, even with medication and physical therapy. All of that changed, and my energy was almost non-existent. All of that changed in a very short time simply by getting down to root cause. And it was basically the stool test. That was the biggest thing that had to change inside of me. And as he guided me through that, oh my, I got my life back. I feel like I'm 20 again and I look like I did back in my 20s. It's absolutely incredible what you can do with your body if you remove the obstacles. Absolutely. So I hope tonight was really in, um, not just informational for you, I hope it was inspiring. And I'm sure as you were listening, you thought of many others of your friends. Like I said, this is personal for me. I have family members right now, one of them dying from cancer. I haven't been able to help them because there hasn't, you know, there's just there's a whole dynamic there. My another relative, an older relative, had cancer twice last year. Um, this is this is a very personal thing to me. And I want to be, Doc and I are passionate about helping every single person that we're able to, but it has to be your choice, it has to be your neighbor's choice, it has to be your relative's choice to help themselves, to take the steps that we guide them through. And we are absolutely convinced, because we've seen story after story after story, the power of this technology is absolutely phenomenal. And it's only because we're just working with God's power. That's all we're doing, we're helping you to work with the power of God inside your body and get back to that and find life as it was meant to be for you so as you probably have seen in this in the chat box i put two links in there some of you have already started this journey and i commend you you've started the testing you're starting to walk through your own rebuild you're starting to clean up that gut wall and getting your life back and the energy is starting to increase um, anxiety is starting to decrease you're shrinking some of you and it's just absolutely so fun watching your life become more and more enjoyable and beautiful and I'm, I'm watching that with some of you some of you other ones haven't taken that step yet and I invite you to ch click the link in the chat um, there's a two links in there one is for an individual person that's the first link that got posted there that will get you a consult with Dr. Legree where he's going to go over your case history very, very thoroughly. He's going to look for the keys of the kingdom that has been missed in your in your story. And based on that, he will put together a, a care plan for you, steps of action for you to take to rebuild your life, to protect and to clean up your gut wall, and to protect your future. That's really what this is all about. And then the, the second link is if you have a husband or a wife or a or a child that you want to have evaluated as well. There's a discount link. So the first link is $99. It's normally a $435 um, consult package. You'll be meeting with Doc two times to go over the details and the intensity of this process. This is not gonna be a short little five minute doctor visit like you've been used to. This is gonna be detailed time with the doc. So he's gonna spend a lot of time with you. And so this is for a single person, Normally it's 435, but we're going to do it for tonight for $99. That's the first link. And then the second link, if you have a family member you would like to also get checked, you're only going to pay $149 for the two of you together. So it's significantly reduced. Um, these links, I encourage you to copy them and paste them onto your computer or, or a piece of paper or ask me to text them to you later. The other thing is tomorrow, I want you to know this, you'll be getting an email from me tomorrow with the replay link to this video so you can watch it again, so you can share it with your friends. And also I will include in that email those links as well for your friends to sign up to have evaluations with Dr. Legree. Now more than ever, we need to protect ourselves. Our world is becoming more toxic. COVID has been the scare of the last year and whatever you believe about COVID is not the point. The point is we've got a lot of sickness here and a lot of people dying and it seems to be increasing. 
So let's do our part to protect, first of all, you and your family members. Let's change our world one person at a time, and it starts with you, and it starts with me. That's all, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you. I hope to join you on your journey, if I haven't already, and to make this world a more beautiful place with you. Hey,